Hi, this is the uh, WTF SDK tutorial part four of the um, player character creation process. So now we're kind of down to the final stretch for our animation package that we need to create the player character. Well, a uh, barely functional one anyway. So the final animation that I'm going to work on is the, the ready cast cast combination. Um, so what happens here is that um, if you can imagine, say, uh, you play in the role-playing game and you see uh, a character casting a spell, and you would, and you know, sometimes the spells have variable casting time. So you know, if the spell ha takes like two seconds to cast, you would see that character kind of in this ready charging up the spell animation for like a second or two before it finally launches the spell. Well, that's basically what the ready cast animation is for. So, in this instance, um, I believe the ready cast animation is only two frames long, so it might take a little bit to actually hunt it down. Um, I believe those two are it. Um, so it's 50 to 51. And like all the other animations I uh, set up before, oh, by the way, the ready cast animation is a normal type, so like all the ones before, you have to do is just kind of set up the animation frames required for it, and you don't really need to set up anything else other than the body area. So in order to do that, you need to go back to body area and kind of really it. Gonna squint it down a bit since this is a gnome. So finally, the cast animation. Um, and for the cast animation, you would see something that's similar to the attack animation, where there's some extra um, stuff that you need to set up besides just the frames that you want the, um, the animation frames to take place. So, well, but first of all, let's set up the, the basics. I'm going to start with the frames that I need here. So, it's going to go from 10 to 19. Now, like the attack animation, what I want to do is set up a specific point in time where Say if you're casting a spell and a fireball comes out, you want to basically identify the exact time when the fireball comes out of you know this character's hands. Um, so if you look at the animation carefully, you know this is probably the correct time to do it. So under animation properties, you go into full frame and you put in the frame number, uh, which is 12, and which is why you see the throw Aldrin right now. So, unlike an attack animation, you know, you only set up um, a single frame where um, the, the thing actually comes out. So, um, what I want to do is go into current target, select the throw Aldrin, option and I want to adjust the position of this little point here and it's only going to be a point um, where all the spell effects come out so if this guy tosses a fireball this is where the fireball comes out you know right on his palm um, so change that position looks kind of right and then I'm just going to do a quick test here Oh, and I also want to obviously adjust the body area, so let me just go back here quickly and change the width and height a little bit. Just squint it, since it's a gnome. Maybe get a little bit more width. That looks about right. So, after all this, and I do remember to hit save, um, I'm ready to kind of move on to the next step and actually set up a playable character.